What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're gonna be putting some Victory 4x4 load bars on Amanda's 4Runner. So these load bars come sold separately and it comes with all the hardware to mount them. These slats we'll get into later, but they just kind of slot into the factory rails. There's no need for another aftermarket roof rack. And this is a very, I would say budget friendly solution for mounting a rooftop tent or anything like that on the roof of your fifth gen 4Runner. Initial impressions of them, uh, the powder coat finish looks really nice. Looks like it's done well. There's no chips or anything anywhere. And the overall design of it seems nice and sturdy. And I think these things will hold up very well on the roof of the 4Runner, even with a rooftop tent up there. They give you plenty of holes up and down the bars, which makes mounting stuff super easy. I'm not sure how we're gonna mount the rooftop tent yet. I'll get into that in a later video. Probably just traditional uh, clamp around there, or maybe just bolt straight through. And of course, it's also easy enough if you're mounting something, uh, something strange, you could just kind of drill your own holes. That's what's kind of nice about how this is set up. Just a nice flat surface for you to work with. And it should work out real well. So if you're trying to remove your front caps, you're not gonna have enough room to squeeze these plates in between there. So you actually gotta remove the rear ones. So we're just gonna take a screwdriver here. Normally you wanna use a plastic one to help protect from damaging. I just put a little blue tape on this one and it'll work for now. So basically you just kind of get the screwdriver under there and pry up a little bit and you'll find the spot. There we go. You can see how it's popped up now here. And then just work your way down until you find your other clip which is right there. And then you just kind of roll it back until it pops off. So this is our hardware and this is how the crossbars are actually gonna mount to the rails. Basically, they just give you these little like elevator studs is what they normally call them. And they just kind of slide into these little channels. And then we have a 13 millimeter nut. So this may be a bit hard to see, but you can see how all this is nice and exposed. And then this plate can just slide in here super easy. So you're gonna need two per side. Go ahead and just slide these in. And since this one will be for our front, go ahead and slide that towards the front of the truck. And then we'll put in our back one. And then repeat the same for the other side. Now with our plates in their position, you can see these are kind of reversed next to each other. One side just has holes, so that'll slide onto the studs. And then they were nice enough to slot the other side, so it just kind of drops down on there. So next we're gonna get these bars up there. We'll get one side started with the studs and then we'll just let the other side drop down onto the studs on the other side. Okay, so here's where having two people really pays because you don't wanna accidentally drop this thing and scratch your paint. So on my side, I'm gonna get these studs started. And then on her side, she's gonna let the slots drop on the bolts. And then next we're gonna go ahead and put our back bar on like that. And then we can put our 13 millimeter nuts and tighten these things up and get our caps on. So next we're just gonna go ahead and pop these caps back on. It's a simple clip, just like the way you pulled it off, we're gonna put it on and then roll it back on. With our rails in place and our caps on in the back, now we're just gonna figure out where we want these rails exactly. We think we want this one as far forward as it can go. And then pretty much the same for the rear. Since we're gonna be putting a rooftop tent up here for our trip to Wyoming, it just makes more sense to have the load dispersed. You can even buy multiples of these. They sell these things separately. So if you wanna put like four up here and then mount some different stuff, you can but we're just gonna go with two for now to hold the tent. I think that'll be plenty. So now what we're doing is just brushing some anises on our studs. Uh, even though this is stainless steel hardware, it's still susceptible to rust and especially being up here in the elements. So just a little dab of never seize on the studs goes a long ways. So once we get that on there, we can get our nuts on there and tighten them up. So that wraps it up. Super easy install on the 4Runner. This is all in preparation for our trip to Wyoming. We're actually taking that 4Runner nine days from Virginia to Wyoming. So it's gonna be a super awesome trip. We're gonna be running a rooftop tent on it just for you know the simplicity of being able to pop up camp and just be ready to go to sleep. Uh, the rooftop tent's gonna be able to keep our bedding in it and everything like that. So it's just gonna really simplify things on this long trip. There is a few more things we gotta install before the trip. So I will be doing some videos on that stuff and maybe I'll be able to get Amanda back out here and help me do those as well. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time.